For a moment, imagine stepping out for work onto a helipad where your personal helicopter awaits. Imagine having the most impressive, extensive, and bulletproof fleet of vehicles globally, from land to sea to high above the sky. Vladimir Putin likes to travel in style, but his transportation methods feature some of the most advanced security and communications technology in the world. Not only is there luxury, but plenty of countermeasures that keep the Russian president comfortably out of harm's way. This is Luxury Zone. Today, we will be looking at how style meets security in the Russian president's fleet. Whether by land, air, or sea, Vladimir Putin is known to not hold back or skimp out when it comes to his own safety or ability to control no matter where he is. There are some incredible machines that Putin has crafted his fleet with. Make sure you watch to the end to see what we have in store. Powerful leaders all over the world go to extraordinary lengths to protect themselves from danger. Still, Putin takes extra care to keep the peace of mind that he knows he's safe. As someone who has experienced numerous assassination attempts, it only makes sense that he puts quite a bit into keeping himself safe and reinforced no matter what. For Vladimir Putin, there's no better a way to ensure his safety than to be escorted by highly trained armed guards to his personal helicopter. This is his daily driver and it takes him anywhere he needs to go. Since its original introduction during the Cold War, the Mi-8's capable and comparatively simple machinery continues to be produced in dozens of formats for air arms worldwide. Over 17,000 have been built in the same way, making it the most prevalent helicopter. Despite falling victim to these helicopters' deadlier side, even in Afghanistan, they continue to operate updated versions instead of Western counterparts, like the UH-60 Blackhawk. Decades later, the Mi-8 in this updated model continues to be the transport helicopter of choice for the Russian military and Vladimir Putin himself. While not the usual go-to of presidents, Putin acts as the exception, preferring his personal helicopter over other, fancier modes of transportation. Outfitted for VVIP use, the Hip H can be recognized for its square rather than round windows. They are usually bristling with elongated external fuel tanks, additional auxiliary power units, and Antenna Farm's infrared countermeasures. Currently, the countermeasures include infrared flares, but can also have a directed laser countermeasure system, like the Russian-built President S. Reminiscent of the US's Marine One, these are outfitted with oversized club chairs, high-end wood trims, additional sofa seating, a restroom, and in-flight video and communication systems. Additionally, the rear doors are touted as retained for cargo and luggage. It has everything Putin would need on his daily commute, and much more. The presidential Mi-8 racks up an exponential price tag. Still, Putin has at least two in his mystery fleet. If he's going for more distanced flying, Putin also has the Russian version of Air Force One. His star being the carefully engineered IL-96 300PU airliner. These are modified from stock model IL-96s, built in Russia but using parts from England to create an engineering spectacle. Between armed guards and high-tech security features, the Ilyushin IL-96 functions as an airborne office, providing crucial and immediate access to a control panel for the Russian president, overseeing the army, corresponding with intelligence, and keeping an eye on nuclear weapons are just part of the president's job, and it's well suited for the presidential IL-96. If he needs to, Putin can comfortably command troop movements, speak with intelligence, and make nuclear attacks without ever stepping foot from his luxurious cabin. The presidential air fleet includes an aircraft with equipment for monitoring and controlling Russia's vast nuclear arsenal. To add to this, it has an array of computers that can send specially encrypted messages from any altitude on Earth. This ensures Putin can communicate quickly to just about anyone without fear of that message going anywhere else. The IL-96 is designed to withstand the intense stress of sudden maneuvers and emergency landings for security and safety purposes. It's speculated that the plane also has a secret escape capsule, allowing the Russian president to escape the aircraft easily and efficiently if anything goes wrong up in the air. His plane features a fully equipped gym and spacious bedroom. The furniture is a neoclassical style, with gold and white leather accents throughout.
many of the designs are not publicized to the fullest extent, which is just one of the many measures to help ensure there is always a backup plan. It doesn't matter if it's a disaster or an attack, there is always a plan for emergency measures. What is perhaps the most notable and impressive of the features and safety measures, Putin's mode and method of travel are rarely known until departure. This reportedly helps quell attacks with a 75% chance of guessing wrong. Putin doesn't compromise on comfort when he isn't up in the air because he's on the ground. In fact, the Russian presidential state car is among one of the most luxurious and advanced on Earth. This Aura Senat limousine has advanced communications and security features, bulletproof windows, chilled champagne, and leather seating worth tens of thousands of dollars. It was once a Mercedes-Benz S600 guard Pullman, but was replaced with a Russian build design in 2018 that Putin had personally pushed for. Just to get an idea of the car's advanced technology, it's bomb and bulletproof from all angles and equipped with a myriad of communication devices. It can drive 30 kilometers at 80 kilometers per hour, even if all four solid rubber tires are blown off. Not to mention, the automobile is often airlifted by equally well-protected aircraft. This is all not to mention Putin's driver, who undergoes rigorous vetting from the Russian Federal Security Service, is highly trained and qualified. In fact, to become a presidential driver, the training and skill that goes into it would take as long to become a surgeon. They undergo weekly practices and train with shooting while driving drills, how to protect the president in an emergency, and how to navigate through explosions. Putin has been known on occasion to get behind the wheel himself when he doesn't have a driver. He is said to own over 700 high-end cars, from his expensive luxurious limousine to extreme off-roaders. Cars like his Mercedes ML500, Gazelle limousine, Lada Vesta sedan, and a Lada Nissan. 4x4. While these cars are less common than his state vehicles, they're just a taste of what his extensive garage might have to offer. Putin may use it often, but he also likes to impress with his 269-foot superyacht called Graceful, outfitted with a crew of 24 with six luxurious cabins and two incredible VIP staterooms. The $73.2 million pleasure craft was initially built by Sevmash in Russia, with interiors and exteriors in by H2 Yacht Design. There are soft cushioned sofas, glossy, sleek surfaces, and a posh white marble bathroom. There appear to be multitudes of shelves for books in one office, along with a desk fronted with a stunning sailing boat painting. A second super yacht, the Scheherazade, is also said to be owned by Putin, though ownership is disputed. According to insider sources, this opulent watercraft has reportedly been estimated to have cost in the ballpark of $990 million. It's been described as a mini-city, with everything one might need on the 490-foot luxury vessel. There are countless swimming pools, a spa, a gym, a sauna, ballrooms, a theater, and two helipads. There are bathrooms outfitted with King Midas evoking gold taps and toilet paper holders. Out on deck, exercise equipment can be seen, also lined with lounge seating and bar stools. Every other surface is either marble or gold, according to some sources. As fits the style of the Russian president. This ritzy ship isn't simply built for pleasure cruises. It can supposedly transform from party boat to war machine in a flash, with a state-of-the-art security system capable of taking drones down. It also contains six jet skis, five dinghies, and eight Seabob underwater scooters. This ensures control no matter which angle Putin takes, and an added level of security beneath all of the opulent, luxury features. The Scheherazade's ownership is hotly up for dispute, despite being outfitted with security, as the British captain Guy Bennett Pierce denies Putin has ever owned or stepped foot on the vessel, in light of potential sanctions being placed on the boat. However, we really can't be sure. This would be an added layer of security and privacy to an already long, incredible list. Whether by land, air, or sea, Putin loves to travel in style and needs assurance of absolute control and security over his country. Did you have a favorite on today's list? If you could take any of these luxury vehicles for a drive, which would you choose? Let us know your thoughts down below in the comments. That's going to be all for today. If you like this and want to see more videos like it, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe with post notifications turned on so you never miss a single one. This has been Luxury Zone and we'll see you next time.